Hello and welcome to this Faceware Studio tutorial about tracking and calibration. Calibration is a simple but very important step and not only starts the process of tracking the performance, but can directly influence the animation results. Once you have your footage set up, there's one thing we still need to check in the real-time setup panel, and that's the face tracking model. You'll have a drop-down menu with two options, stationary camera and professional head cam. Stationary camera is any camera that doesn't move and isn't attached to the actor like a webcam or a tripod camera. Professional head cam is for footage captured with a head-mounted camera. The professional head cam model requires an image like the one you see in the viewport here from a faceware head cam. With vertical orientation, the face taking up most of the frame, and the camera very slightly under the nose and looking up. If you're using a different head cam and the tracking isn't ideal, you can always try the stationary camera model. Once we have the model selected, we need to calibrate. Calibration is telling Studio what the actor's neutral expression is and serves as the basis for the shape data that Studio creates. We're going to find a good neutral expression in our video here, the eyes looking forward, the brows relaxed, and the mouth closed but relaxed. Because I'm using a pre-recorded video, I paused it and scrubbed the timeline until I found a suitable neutral frame towards the end. If you're using a live streaming video source, have the actor make a neutral expression. We have a neutral that we're happy with, so we go and click the Calibrate Neutral Pose button in the viewport. Let's see a few things happen now if you have the default workspace open like we do. Tracking landmarks appear on the face in the viewport, preview character starts to animate, and the animation tuning values begin to move according to the shape data. If you want to change your neutral pose, you'll see the button has changed to Recalibrate Neutral Pose, so you can repeat the process on a different frame. Otherwise, we're ready to move on. In our next tutorials, we're going to show you how animation tuning and motion effects let you customize the animation to suit your character and your artistic vision. 